what I want to know is like, how, how does a movie like 21 Jump Street all of a sudden get to the top of like the Netflix top 10 for a week? Or I see that in like the Hulu, you know, Hulu most watched or any of these services. Like why do these like really random shows end up bubbling up? Which is really interesting because you have the hits that you plan for and the hits that you don't plan for, right? And the hits that you plan for are going to be the ones that you're spending the most money, you're driving the most promotion. Yes, your your, your research has said this is the right content to acquire. Putting that aside, like these are the things that that you invest everything into. These are your you know your marquee types of content. But then you have all of the rest of that content. And one of the unique things that you know is a challenge with content discovery and what can be solves is because we have that second by second session level viewer data. We can actually see how those evolve and how those unpack. So if you take one of your hits with Conviva, um, one of the hits that you plan for, or even the ones that you don't, you can actually unpack that and figure out how did it get to that point. So you can use viewer level pathing to understand that, hey, people may have gone from watching nothing to watching an NFL game to watching the to Yellowstone more than anything else. Or maybe they came in, you might not even know, but you know, if you think about uh uh, you know, I'll use Paramount Plus as the example here. I'm, I'm not saying this is this is real, but as an example, think about this. Maybe you have a whole new a whole new segment of people that came in, and all of a sudden they 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 joined Paramount Plus because they wanted to watch Yellowstone. And within six weeks, all of a sudden now Paw Patrol is back at the top of the charts again. And when you pull back Paw Patrol, you realize that wow, we had a really strong pathing coming from new viewers who had never watched content who are watching Yellowstone that now go into Paw Patrol. And, you know, you can use those to your advantage to figure out like, you know, and it's not, Paw Patrol is probably a hit if you think about it. You probably plan for Paw Patrol to be a big but thing of your service. But if you think about a Squid Game as an, another good example, right? Squid Game that came out of, of nowhere, it, it didn't come out of nowhere just because a lot of people started watching it, right? It, it, it started with a small group of people that started watching it. And then that informed an algorithm that expanded and recommended it to a larger group of people, which then expanded and, and recommended it to a larger group of people. And so that's one of the power that, that the Conviva sensor has. And that's why, you know, we're working with so many of these different publishers right now is because we can actually unpack all of those hits to help you understand how do you go back and manufacture success?